There are two things that I did not really know coming in that I was going to have to be dealing with when I moved to Japan. One of those is um, how trash is taken out here, which I wanted to just go into detail of how to do because it's actually quite easy, but it's very confusing in the beginning. Um, and the second one is just laundry. So I had to cut all of these cardboard pieces up. So you have to cut every piece up and then you have to tie it with this string. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Empathetic Wanderers. My name is Jeff, and on this channel, I give you ways to deepen your travel experience, hopefully access otherwise inaccessible situations. Uh, and so one of the things that I really wanted to do as I live here in Japan is kind of just give you all an idea of kind of the basics of living here in Japan. So pardon the uh, makeshift uh, intro here, but I actually thought it was mildly appropriate because there are two things that I did not really know coming in that I was going to have to be dealing with when I moved to Japan. One of those is um, how trash is taken out here, which I wanted to just go into detail of how to do because it's actually quite easy, but it's very confusing in the beginning. Um, and the second one is just laundry. Um, so one of the biggest questions that I get when <clears throat> friends of mine are visiting and they're at airbnbs is the washing machine is always uh obviously in japanese and so just kind of going through that it's super easy super super simple um, and then also if there is no washing machine how you can go to the laundromat and what that's like and so one of those aspects is that during the rainy season it's june right now so during the rain, uh, rainy season uh, you can't really put your clothes outside to dry and there are no dryers. Uh, so you end up having to hang everything. So uh, if you like content like that, if you like Japan vlogs, if you like Korea vlogs, East Asia vlogs and the like, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of the content that I'm putting out every single week. And let's get to the video. All right, so the next part here, we're just I'm just gonna show you how to use a basic Japanese washing machine. So a lot of these buttons are not super important. Um, and I have stayed at Airbnbs and they've been all pretty similar to this. So the important thing to know, the one of the most important things to know is that this is off and this is on. So you have to press this on once you have your clothes in and then this is start. This says starto, starto, start. <clears throat> All of these are just like different um, options that you have for the cycle type uh, that every washing machine in any country has. What is important here is these characters. This means the amount of water that you would like to be dispensed into the washing machine. So basically a light load, a medium load, and a heavy load. So if you've got a lot of clothes, you would just press start. I mean, sorry, you would just turn on and then you would press, if you have a heavy load, light load, medium load, and now this is the type that you are like asking the washing machine to do. So are you asking it to do a full load? Are you asking it just to run water? It, kind of like what, what do you want it to do? So this has it set up, and I would imagine most do, of a normal cycle. So this is going to do all three of the ones that are lit up. And so I don't even need to press that at all. Um, this I also don't need to press at all. Um, this has coarse. This I've never used at all. And then this is what looks like this is reservation. So, or like reserve. So I would imagine this is if you want to do it like 
uh, this says like nine to six hours after. So if you want to have your machine run a load, maybe when you're out or something like that. So really the only thing that you need to really know, and you know, every washing machine might be different, but I, but this is kind of what I have seen is on the amount you want, Make sure that it is all the ones that you want it to be, um, but it's likely the automatic settings, so you probably don't have to worry. And press start. Sutato. So just look for these characters. Sutato. Start. And then the one other thing is you're going to want to make sure that your water is turned on. So when mine is down, the water is turned on. When mine is turned this way, it is off. So if you try and start it and no water's coming out, it may just be because your water's not turned on. So just make sure that you flip that. All right, so here we've got a laundromat. Uh, laundromat in Japanese is coin randori. Coin randori. Coin is coin. And randori is laundry. Uh, so it's pretty basic. It's pretty standard. You just go in. It uh, costs 300 yen. You put your coins in, put your clothes in, uh, and then just run the machine. Um, if you don't speak Japanese, it's not that difficult still. Um, and there are laundromats all over the place, so they're not particularly difficult to find but if your airbnb does not have a washing machine i would just recommend asking your airbnb host if there's a laundromat near the airbnb all right so here we have got the way that you sort out trash so i just got a bunch of furniture delivered <clears throat> so i had to cut all of these cardboard pieces up so you have to cut every piece up and then you have to tie it with this string and then you have to, and then they do the same for paper. So like every day I get a bunch of like advertisements and stuff like that, so I have to wrap all that up. And then this is like an accumulation over like four months of like milk and like any containers or cartons and you have to wrap those up and then you have to wait for the particular day. So each city gives like a calendar of when you can put them out. So if you are living here, you will get those, that calendar from your city hall uh, when you're like registering for where you live, which everyone has to do. If you are just staying here as an Airbnb, um, your Airbnb sh host should tell you kind of what they're expecting from you. Sometimes I've had them um, want me to throw them in particular garbage bins. Sometimes they've just said, put them in this and I like some random bin and then I think they separate them separately. Uh, I'm sure there are Airbnbs that make you do it the proper way. So uh, just something to know, it is not as hard or like as frustrating as it might look. Um, it actually makes a lot of sense. And once you get used to it, it is quite easy. So in Japan, they separate trash into four separate categories. One is burnable trash, one is non-burnable, one is uh, aluminum, and the other is glass. There's a number of other different types of trash that you can throw out, uh, but these bins are for the burnable trash. They all have a specific type of bag that you have to get from the convenience store. They're very cheap. And then they also have separate containers for both plastic bottles, aluminum cans, and where you put your cardboard. So they they do this so that they can actually recycle a lot and while it seems a bit complicated in the beginning it actually is not particularly difficult and it actually makes you consume a lot less everything because you're always thinking about how you're going to take it out so there's a schedule that you get from your city and it's super easy to follow but you take out a certain item every single day all right, well, I hope that you enjoyed that video. I hope you found it informative and helpful. Uh, if you did, go ahead and hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below if you live in Japan or if you're planning on coming to Japan. Uh, as I've said a number of times in the video, if you are coming via Airbnb, you won't have to deal with a lot of this stuff. I've had half of my Airbnbs be very accommodating in especially trash pickup and stuff like that where they'll just say, throw everything in this bin and they'll sort it out. Um, and then I've had another half that, you know, are a little bit more specific. Um, but the reality is it's quite easy to sort it all out. So don't worry. Uh, but let me know if there's any other types of videos that you'd like to see if you've just moved to Japan and there's anything that you need help with. If you're planning on moving to Japan or coming to Japan and there's something that you're thinking about, like, how do you do this? How do you do that? Let me know in the comments below. I'm happy to make videos on that as well, because as much as everything is super easy to do here, uh, there is a mildly overwhelming nature to some of the things, uh, especially when you just move to a big, uh, a new country. So 
Totally understand that. Uh, if you like content like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on the content that I put out every week. Uh, I really appreciate uh, you watching and I hope you'll have a wonderful day. Let's just keep being empathetic, keep wandering, keep spreading positivity, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Good morning in Chinese is Zhao Shang Hao. Zhao Shang Hao.